What is up and welcome to this video on the uses of PSI Magnet for NES in Smash Ultimate. Now the game still is very new, so there definitely is going to be some things that I don't go over yet. Uh, maybe because I am not a master of them or you know things that I haven't even discovered yet. So if there's anything you don't see in the video, make sure you reach out to me on Twitter or in those comments. Um, let me know if I missed anything or anything you want to see in future videos. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. That being said, I do feel like I am the most knowledgeable person on the uses of PSI Magnet at this time. Um, there is a lot of little things that you can do with it. So I believe if you become good or even a master at using all of those things, it can help out your nest quite a bit. I'm going to start with how and why I approach with Magnet. It's a tool I use a lot in neutral and when my opponent is in shield. If it connects, um, if the hitbox actually hits the opponent, Ness can usually get a follow up off of it. Um, if for some reason it doesn't hit, you know, the opponent shields it, the opponent just avoids it, it's usually a pretty safe option and they have to respect it for the most part. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the how I use Magnet. In neutral, I always make sure my movement is on point with my dash stances, my foxtrots, everything like that. And I'm always adding in some short hop auto cancels to make sure my opponent is respecting me. He has to shield me or he's going to get hit by, by one of these options. So a lot of times with Magnet, I'll approach him with a forward air, a neutral air, or a back air. And then with my double jump, I'll approach them with Magnet, just like that. You know, and then the Magnet hits, then I get my bread and butters off of it. And then sometimes I'll just approach them with Magnet right away, maybe do a second one. But the important thing is you always want to mix it up, right? So your aerials are a better option than your Magnet. So I'll be using your aerials, and then the second they think you, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna jump away, you're gonna go for a grab or something like that, use your double jump, and you approach them with Magnet. Now the why I use Magnet is because I feel like it is a great mix-up tool. In previous games, Ness has struggled from relying too much on aerials and his grab game. So in this game, you can use Magnet to mix up your timings and your spacing to just throw your opponent off a little bit. I've gone over it a little bit before, but just make sure you have your easy confirms down for when you actually do hit the Magnet. Magnet into Nair into grab. Magnet into Nair. You know, into tech chase, jab lock situations. Magnet into falling forward air into grab. Magnet into, into forward air, push them off stage. Magnet into falling up air into those combos. All this stuff is really important to have down. It's very valuable percent that you need to get. One of the more difficult confirms that I strongly recommend you learned how to do is what I'm kind of calling it is, is a reverse aerial rush magnet into back air. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's actually a lot easier than it sounds. So just like you would, you know, run up to someone and do a and do a rar, you know, rar back air, rar neutral air. You want to run up to someone, do a reverse aerial magnet, just like that, and into back air. And that is a true combo. And it's a lot safer than just going for a back air, but more importantly, it's going to mess up your opponent's timing. The next big use of Magnet is repositioning. By repositioning, I mean a few different things. So first one is stalling. So if I were right here and I was in the air and my opponent thinks I'm going to back air, something I could do is I could stall just a little bit to mess up their shielding and then back air them. And then maybe next time I, I don't stall. I know it sounds silly, but it does get a lot of people. Um, a lot of people are over greedy to get shield grabs, out of shield punishes, things like that. So definitely add this to your gameplay if you're not already using it. Using it to stall. Using it to cross up as well. To go over the opponent. Mix up that way. You know, that way they can't even shield grab. They have to choose another out of shield option. Maybe they'll choose a defensive option like roll and you can react to that. So this is a really good option that I use a lot. So that covers the main and most important uses of magnet that you're going to be want to be taking advantage of. But I want to go over some more specific things that I use magnet for. If I ever have an opponent close to the ledge, 
I like to use it a lot because it either forces them off the stage or just pushes them towards the ledge. Um, Ness has really good ledge play, as we all know, with Yo-Yo, Down Tilt, PK Thunder. So one thing I'll do is I'll push him, and then I'll just Down Tilt right there, get some quick damage, maybe push him off with an F Tilt, um, and then begin my edge guard, right? So I think it's really good by the ledge, just so you could force him into that position with a quick option, and then you can begin your edge guard. Another really cool thing that Magnet does is it actually does jab lock. So around those jab lock percents is you can definitely jab lock with them. And the reason this is better than you know traditionally jab locking them with a jab or a down tilt is it actually pushes them in the perfect sweet spot range for your forward smash. So you're gonna get the tipper if you do that, you're going to get a tipper most every time if you use Magnet. Something I like to use Magnet a lot for is actually edge guarding. So what I'll do is I can run off the stage, I can get a quick turnaround like that. And then I can go straight into a back air. If this happens to hit them, I can just do a Magnet into a back air. Also, let's say they're recovering from pretty far off, I can just drop down with Magnet. And the second it touches them, or second the hitbox hits them, I'll jump and I'll use my forwarder and that's actually a true combo. Um, or you can just kind of fall with it, it might catch their jump, which will lead to a gimp, they might think they need to air dodge it, um, things like that. I don't do this a lot, but it definitely is an option I'll go for, especially with characters with bad recovery. Magnet can also be used for combo extenders. One I'll go for a lot that I've been getting really reliably is falling up air into magnet and then to start my forward air combos. And I'll demonstrate that right now. Just like that. So personally, I love using magnet to extend combos. I think it's very flashy and is optimal nest play. However, some of it is very tricky to pull off. So I recommend focusing on using it for movement, easy confirms, and getting comfortable with it before moving on to those tricky combo extenders. If you are interested in stuff like that, I'm gonna post a link to the video in the description below. Uh, one of my favorite videos, um, he's a Japanese nest player who does some very cool magnet options. Um, so check that out. And I'm gonna work on getting those, some of those cool things down so you can see it in my future gameplay.